What's up guys, this is Pimaj and this is the sniping tutorial I promised you guys and this is where I tell you my personal like what I think and what I personally do for quick scoping and feeds and all that and I'm just showing you these to show you what you could probably end up doing if you do this I'm not saying it doesn't it's all up to you if you, if you like the style or anything like that and yeah, I like to think I do my sniping a little different than other people. Just, I don't know. I personally think I do because I have no reason. I just think I do. <laughs> and uh, you have to realize you don't have to quick scope everything. One thing I do recommend is that you never go prone. Because being just instantly going prone is pretty stupid and cheap. And no one wants to really see that. So this is the sniping tutorial. And uh, here we go. So the first tip I'm going to give you guys is um, avoid crouching because when you crouch like after every shot, cause I used to do this. I like looked at it after and you know, I wanted to be become better. I don't know. I put a lot of time in it. I was kind of weird about it, but uh, no, don't crouch that much. Like once you shoot, don't crouch because that kind of just levels your shot off. And personally, you'll get more hit markers because it'll be lower. And your target will be, you know, moving all the time. Sure, it gives you a good head glitch, but you should, like when you're in the open, just don't crouch a lot. Um, so yeah, just don't crouch a lot. The next tip I'm gonna give you guys is uh, don't. You don't have to always quick scope straight. What I do, and this is like the biggest thing that I ever realized, was short drags. I personally like to drag almost every single shot and when they're close enough I just kind of go for a black scope but if you notice that all of my shots are drag are short drag scopes and that's what I aim for. Short drag scopes are probably your best bet for anything. They are just all around good and can you know just get used to that. I recommend using 8 sensitivity because you know you don't want to over drag or like under drag and 8 just seems like the perfect way you want to go. The next tip I'm going to give you guys is um, don't move like a lot. Like uh, when you're going around corners and all that, you don't want to be sprinting that much because you know it takes a while to get your shot up. I don't really, it doesn't really matter with steady aim. Like, I don't know, I just kind of like just walk most of the time. I'll just do like little sprints to make sure I'm like aware and everything. So it just makes you more prepared for what's coming up. So just, it's better off to just walk every time. A little tip I like to do when I'm sniping or when I'm loading, if anything, if I get caught in a reload, I like to just, like, I don't know, whenever I'm caught in a reload with my sniper or anything, I you can sprint and all that, but I personally kind of just get my grenade out or whatever you're using or throwing knife and then just really get it quickly so you don't have to get caught up. It's either sprinting or pulling your grenade out. Uh, another tip I'm going to give you guys is kind of like a thinking tip. What you should think about is when you're going for feeds, 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 you should um, think of where you would go. Like when you're on the other team, think of where you would go. Like say you were in this spot and then the drop zone or whatever was over there, then I would kind of think about going into here or into here and tossing like stuns if I was this guy over here. So just think of where you would go in your position on the other team. Just think of it like that. It'll help you. Things you should uh, be focusing on or things that may affect you. I don't know. I kind of notice these is uh, posture. <laughs> it's cheesy, I know, but, you know, everyone's different. Uh, cold hands, and, you know, I'm in Canada, and half the time it's cold. I can't play when I have cold hands. Maybe you're a cold hand person, or you're a, you know, a warm hand person. I'm a warm hand person. Or if you're, I don't know, if you get sweaty hands a lot, there's stuff out there for that. Uh, yeah, just look out for those little things. They might matter. And that was the sniping tutorial. Uh, I really hope it helped helps you guys in you know sniping in general. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, just put in the comments below. And uh, yeah, this is Pomage, and bye bye.